Trying to get the uh, Court Anglaise bag out of the yeah, way. Yeah, get out of the way. Don't want to, we're not sponsored. Move, move across. The, the point of this documentary is to discover what on earth are you still doing here? What? The thing is, is, yeah, we ended up buying a house. <laughs> yeah. When are you going home? Never. 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 Something cataclysmic would have to happen for me to actually go back and live. Uh, I probably I wouldn't me. have um, joined a music band because I would have thought uh, back home people would have laughed at me. <laughs> and I think overcoming fears is what this whole journey has been about. I, I, I think they should ask for really professionals. I don't mind where they are from, whether you are native or non-native. Okay, testing, testing. Testicles, testicles. Hey guys, said to me little daughter, I says, you know, give us a, uh, buy us one, yeah, when I'm old enough, uh, boy now, you know, and I'll, I'll walk around with a Basque hat on. <laughs> Try and blend in with a chapella. <laughs> <laughs> but then people always say, you look, you look, so now I think I just got to a point where I thought, you know what, I'm just tired of fighting against my destiny. So you take your clothes off as well. Yeah, uh, don't the naked you... truth. <laughs> <laughs> Hi right, Darren. Good. Hey Rob. Thanks for coming. Where are you from? I'm from Ennis. What's that? The west of Ireland. West of Ireland. You know, the question is, what on earth are you doing here in Victoria? Well, my wife is from here and we met in Ireland while I was uh, doing hotel management. I was training and we met in a hotel there. And then um, I had to, well, I was placed in a, an Irish hotel group over in Cardiff. And after a number of years, I, I started saying, well, I'd like to go back to Ireland. But Maria said, no, let's go to Vitoria. I said, no, let's go, let's go back to Ireland. Then. <laughs> but eventually, <laughs> so, we, 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 came, we came here. So despite your sort of best efforts, you ended up here? That's right. Uh, <laughs> but I thought it was only fair because obviously Maria had lived uh, over there for a number of years. And, you know, she, she'd seen my culture. She spoke the language. And... You know, I thought it was only right just to come here and experience Maria's culture, learn a bit of Spanish, you know, so, but, but uh, to be honest, I thought we'd come for maybe two years yeah, and, okay. and then go back. But yeah, so I thought I was going to be here for two or three years, maybe a, a year in Victoria. I went to, to San Sebastian for a year mm. and I came back to Victoria and I've been here ever since. I didn't hop around the rest of Europe yeah. like I thought I might, or go back home. We, me and you work together. Yeah. Right. Have you always been an English teacher in Victoria? Yeah, since I came here, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you done anything else? And Well, yeah, in the last year I've, I've had the opportunity to, to get into more squash coaching as well, which has been really nice and something different and, you know, just like, like a little bit of variety. Yeah. Not to be doing the same thing all the time. Yeah. But um, yeah, and, and I'm really enjoying that. That's, 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 <laughs> that's a lovely experience. It's springtime. Yeah. It's snowing. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I suppose that as well as maybe doing something like that here is maybe an opportunity I may not have had over there. Yeah. Who knows? Is that why you're still here? Because you can do... I mean, the, the point of this documentary is to discover what on earth are you still doing here? What, what, why yeah. are you still here? Um, well, the, the thing is, is, yeah, we ended up buying a house. <laughs> we, have, we have two kids. Um, and so, you know... In, in that sense, it's, it's not that easy to go just to like, you know, up sticks in yeah. and, and go back. It's, um, you know, the kids are happy in school. Um, Maria's very happy here as well. <laughs> I, have to, I have to be honest, I do get bouts of homesickness and okay. there's times, you know, I really would like to go home. But, but you know, then, then, you know, there's that thing of like, you know, the grass is always greener as well when you go home as well and you speak well, to your... It is in Ireland, isn't it? The gra it definitely is. For example, when I go home on holidays, I only see everything is great, isn't it? Because that's you're you're on holidays, but you know, 
Uh, and so I don't know. Jealous of back home? Are people jealous of you living here? I wouldn't say they're jealous of me. No, I mean they they've got a nice lifestyle there as well. You know what I mean? They're they're very happy living at home. But you know they they do say to me to say you know there's you know it's. There's no need to want to come home. So there's, there's no questions from your mom saying like, when no. you're coming back? No. When are you no. going to get a proper job? No, no, no. No, no there's no questions. No, no, there's no pressure to go home. No. She'd love me to go home, obviously. Yeah. But um, there's no pressure in that sense, no. Okay. So, um, what do you prefer, really? Just be honest here. Do you prefer coaching squash or teaching English? Or hotel management? Would you go back <laughs> into hotel management? <laughs> there's no question. I love teaching English, but... Like um, the the thing I like about teaching English is uh, it's just like is the people really, but coaching squash is is just it's very different because that's something like that's your hobby that's it's something very very different. It's new for you at the moment, and it's new and it's exciting and I'm learning a lot and and I like it. Do you, know? you ever go back into hotel management? No, <laughs> I've thought resounding. about it, but no, I don't. Think it's so. not even here. Plenty of hotels here. No, but it would be it's different as well. I don't know if I'd like it. No. Plus, I think as well, um, I've been out of it so long, I, I don't know if I'd, actually, if I went back into it, I don't even know, I'd, if I, I don't think I'd know what I was doing anymore. I, you, I think after a, a period of time, you kind of you forget, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't even have the confidence just to go back in now. No, it's a strange, no. Okay. What the living abroad, what's difficult about living abroad? I mean, the regrets you might have about it? Yeah, the, like... There's no doubt about it. The difficult thing about living abroad is just not seeing your friends and your family, missing occasions. Um, when there's long spe like you know, long spells without seeing them, yeah. there's a lot of regret. Um, obviously, for example, they'll tell you as well when they're there, like, oh, look, we, we, we don't see each other all the time either. Yeah. But at the same time, you don't you don't see that. All you do is just you're here and you think they're seeing each other all the time and <laughs> yeah. they're doing things together all the time and you. You, you 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 feel like you're missing out on a yeah. lot and but and and you worry as well like that you're missing out on their lives and even like maybe little cousins or nephews or things in your you're not seeing them grow up either and that's true yeah you, you I, wouldn't see them that much of them anyway you wouldn't well, see that much a lot of them, of them. some yeah. of them you wouldn't some of them you wouldn't yeah, you, you gave me an absolute beating at squash ones so I've got to try and Possibly, maybe even beat you by a little bit at badminton one day. Yeah, but I told you before, didn't I, that uh, badminton's only a silly little game, didn't I? <laughs> that's right. Sorry, that's, that's the end of the interview. <laughs> <laughs>